If you want some insane but also cheap players on FIFA 23, this is the video for you. I have got you covered. 10 players that are going to be so cheap but so effective in your ultimate team. If you enjoy this style of video and want to get better at FIFA, I'd really appreciate if you did me a massive favor. Click that sub button right now and you'll never miss a video. And let's try and hit 300 likes. If you're watching and it has less, hit that like button and let's get into it. Okay, so the first of the 10 players is Gavardio. Now, all of these players are 100k or less. Gavardio, I think, is like 40k at the moment. And wow, like you are not going to get a better value center back in the whole game than this. I don't know how. How we so cheap i don't know how the market's got like this but if you you know if you're on a tight budget only got a few hundred thousand coins you have to get this guy in at center back he's actually incredible to be honest with you even if you've got an expensive team this guy can come in at center back four star weak foot um he's got great pace great stamina physicals elite defending he's good on the ball he can pass the only slight issue is linking him in teams. But if you've got a German league team or some players from Croatia, then you're going to be able to fit him in nicely. Absolutely incredible value. Like, I do not know how this card is so cheap. Next up, we have an icon. It is a World Cup hero icon, and it is Crespo. He's got the nice five-star weak foot upgrade as well, and I was pleasantly surprised. You can see I've used this guy 33 games. He has 34 goals and 16 assists for me, and that is playing at a high level of division rivals and also the weekend league as well. So as you can see, when it comes to finishing, there's not many better in the game at all. This guy is clinical. You can guarantee that. Coming in at 100k coins as well, this is extremely good value. He's good on the ball. The biggest weakness with this card is his passing, which means sometimes in the link-up play, he can let you down a bit. But in terms of just finishing chances in front of goal, there is really not many better players in the game for it. You can shoot on either foot. He's quick enough. Just whack a hunter on him and you are absolutely sorted. And obviously being a World Cup icon or an icon in general, he gets the chemistry no matter what. So stick him in and you've got yourself a very reliable striker. This one blows my mind. It is just such good value. He links to Gavardio as well. Um, if that interests you a little bit, that duo is insane. The little Croatia link up. But how this guy is this cheap... It is honestly baffling. So, five-star weak foot, four-star skills. And everyone used his other card. This one is slightly better. And, yeah, the only reason he can be this cheap is obviously he's a left wing. You want to be playing this guy at, like, CDM or center mid. But he is absolutely insane. It, literally, just look at the stats. There's nothing he doesn't have. Tell me in the comments, what does this card not have? You cannot do that. So... You know, great on the ball, great passing, shooting, pace, physical, defending. He has got it all. Premier League links as well. Just start him at left wing or left mid and find a way to get him into central midfield. And you are absolutely sorted. One of the best centre mids in the game. And how he is so cheap, like I say... I have absolutely no idea. Next up, we have this cheap beast. It is Rabio. There's a couple of bad things about the card, but in general, it is exceptional value. So he's six foot four, which for a CDM or centre mid on this game is very nice. You know, he's going to win a lot of stuff in the air. He's got the big body type, and he's also easy to link in. He's French, uh, Italian league. There's some good options there. He's great on the ball. Like for someone this tall, uh, to have that agility and balance. It's, it's unheard of. Like six foot four with that agility and balance, there is not going to be many players in the game at all that have that. So he's good on the ball. He's good at defending. He's good physically. He's got the stamina passing. He's got it all. Good sprint speed. Three star, three star is the tiny issue with the card, but you really can get away with that when you, you know, come to terms with the other qualities that he's going to bring in. So Rabio for the price, it is a no brainer. Get him in your team. So this is the only card in the video that you can't actually go and buy. This is an SBC, but I had to throw him in there because it is a must complete. It is Di Maria SBC card. And wow, in terms of value, this is not like EA. They don't often give us presents like this, but I guess it is Christmas. This is, this is something else. 100k SBC 
This is value, people. Like, you have to be complete in this SBC. He has got it all. The five-star skills, four-star weak foot. He's got pace, shooting, passing. He's great at dribbling. He's even physically good, which for someone that's that good at dribbling and stuff, you don't often get that good physicals. Good enough stamina. Outside of the foot shot for the Travella shots as well. And he's got some good links. He's strong links to Rabio uh, with that Juventus link. You cannot go wrong with this. Just get it done, whether it's with fodder or you have to pay for the stuff. You need to complete this SBC for sure. Make sure you get it done. Next up, we have Corona. This is an interesting card, and it's one like Perisic, where you're going to want to try and find a way of getting him into like a centre mid slash CDM position. He is like the ultimate ball playing CDM if you do put him there. He's got the five star, five star. So when he does go forward, he is excellent. He's great on the ball. Can obviously use both feet. He's quick, good passing. Shooting is a little bit on the, you know, the meh side. However, with a hunter, uh, he's going to be even quicker and that finishing gets a nice boost. And when a player's got a five-star weak foot, it compensates a little bit for having not as good finishing. But as you can see, he can defend. The one big downside is he is very weak, but... For like a ball-playing sort of midfielder, it's not the end of the world. Like Cards like Pedri are good on this game, and they're not that strong either. So um, in terms of linking him in, very easy. Just Spanish League players. There's not too many good Mexican players, but um, you know, linking him in through uh, the Liga BBVA should not be too hard. And he's a very good card all round. If you're on a cheap budget, he's so cheap, like 15 20k. You want to be getting him in. And you can even play this guy at like cam or a wide position as well. And he's going to do a fantastic job there. Arguably the best value centre-back on the entire game. It is Kere. I don't know whether I've mispronounced that. You'll have to let me know in the comments on how to say his name. If there's any German viewers in here, I would appreciate that. But he's got a five-star weak foot. Which means when it comes to playing out the back... He's got you covered there. Great passing as well with the 86 on the short. Great defending. Excellent physically. 96 jumping means he's just not losing in the air. And he is rapid as well. Premier League and German links. And for like 15k, I, I just cannot believe that this card is so cheap. Excellent player. Get him in your team. He is worth every single coin. We then have Gwenduzi, who is being used by a lot of high-level players. Um, you're going to see him in, you know, many different teams. Very easy to link in. French and the French League. Like, you've just got unlimited options. Even people that have the likes of Mbappe, Neymar and Messi. You're going to see this guy in their team. Um, even though he's a cheaper card, he's insane. He's got everything you need. Um, as you can see, he is in the Hullet Gang, 80 or over, in every single base card stat. He's got the physicality, he's got the defending, that 91 interceptions means he is going to win everything in the middle. He's good on the ball, excellent passer, good shot power and attack positioning. He is going to be everywhere, he's going to win balls, link the play up, there's nothing he can't do. Get Gwenduzi in your team. Next up, we have another insane centre-back. It is going to be Kim Min Jae from the Syria. Really nice card, 6 foot 3 Excellent pace, excellent jumping for someone that big. He's strong, he can defend. He's also not too bad on the ball. Not great with that 66 dribbling. But the passing, agility and balance do make up for that. You can play out with this guy. He's going to recover the loose balls. He's going to win stuff in the air. There's not much more you can ask for. Get him in. And last but not least, we do have Boo Fowl. Received some nice upgrades on this Path to Glory card. He's got the five-star weak foot, the four-star skills. He's quick. His dribbling is up there with the best in the entire game. 98 dribbling with 99 agility, 96 balance. That is insane. He's going to be so smooth on the ball. His passing's excellent. His shooting's decent. Bear in mind uh, that you can play the pass or shot. Like on either foot. So there's no issues there at all. Great stamina. And you're going to be getting the links from the French League. So he's not too difficult to get in either. You can also link him to the new Amrabat CDM card. A very good option. And that caps off our top 10 cheap players. 
But guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. This will definitely help you get these guys in your team. They are all very, very reliable, cheap players. Do not forget to hit that sub button and you will not miss a video from me. I am here to help you get better at the game. Maybe one day I can hit 100k subscribers as well, which is my ultimate goal. So thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Peace.